is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 1, Problem 25 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 1 is all about measurement, and in Problem 25, we are given the density and the mass of an iron atom, and asked to find the volume of an atom and the distance between two that are next to each other. So, for Part A, we know that density is equal to mass over volume. So then if we rearrange that for volume, we have volume equals mass over density. And we are given both of these values in the problem. We just need to do some unit conversions. So we can do volume is equal to 9.27 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. And we can divide that by the density, which is 7.87 grams per centimeter cubed. And we know that there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And we know that there are 1 times 10 to the 6th cubic centimeters in one cubic meter. So now we just converted are 7.87 grams per centimeter cubed into kilograms per meter cubed and if you plug that into your calculator you should get 1.18 times 10 to the negative 29th meters cubed. So that's part A and now for part B we need to find the distance between two adjacent atoms. So that would be like this, so two atoms are right next to each other. And we're asked to find the distance from center to center. And if you see, that's just going to be two times the radius. So the distance we are looking for is equal to 2r. And since we know the volume, we can use the volume to find the radius, since atoms are spherical. And we can say volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's for a sphere, and we can rearrange that for the radius, and we can say r is equal to the cube root of 3 times the volume over 4 pi. And we have all those values, so we can plug those in and say the cube root of 3 times our volume, which we found up here, 1.18 times 10 to the negative 29th meters cubed and that's divided by 4 pi. And if you plug that into your calculator, you should get that the radius is equal to 1.14 times 10 to the negative 10th meters. And like I said, since we know our distance is equal to 2r, that's going to be 2 times this. So our distance is going to be equal to 2.28 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.